So how many ashes did you end up playing in? Four. One through them as well. Came third in the other mind. Oh yeah, we don't talk about that. What was the best one for you? For me, my first at home. Single-handedly winning the ashes for my country. I remember that, nice work. It's much better playing at home than away, don't you think? I'm not sure, 2010 was okay. Stuffing them in their own backyard. I remember, 3-0, nice work. It was 3-1, wasn't it? Yeah. So, did you feel a lot of pressure going into the Ashes? Well, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of pressure. How did you handle it? Just took it on the chin, mate. Chin gags. Really? Well, if the shoe fits, mate. Mm, fair enough. So where do you rank winning the Ashes in, you know, your lifetime achievements? Oh, it's right up there, you know, with the birth of your children or running the sub three hour marathon. You've run a sub three hour marathon? No. Oh, you're such a <laughs> So why don't you play in the Ashes anymore? Well, I would if I could, mate, but my elbow's cooked. I wish I could still be doing it. Plus, these days, I've got all these modelling offers coming in from all over the world. I can understand that, actually. So how are England going to go in this year's Ashes? They're going to surprise people. They're going to win 2 0 Strauss is the right man for the job, and Cookie is going to lead the boys to victory. Oh, I've got to say, I love your optimism. All right, lads. I thought I was supposed to be on this. Uh, three's a crowd, mate. Don't be like that. Let's get some lunch. All right. Mm -hmm.